yeah, on, honestly, um, I felt very, very composed before the first ball. And then I bowled a long hop second ball, and I was very, very nervous after that. Um, just focused on putting it in a good area, look, hit, hitting the pitch hard with a bit of wobble on it. Um, and that ball nipped off a good length, um, drawn a bit of a false shot um, with a nice catch from Foxy. I mean, absolute elation. You know, a test debut at the home of cricket in the pinnacle format of cricket. And then to get the New Zealand cap now, fifth ball, um, yeah, absolutely over the moon and can't put into words really how that feels. I know it probably meant a lot, an awful lot to me um, and an awful lot to my family as well. And to get four for 13 on your first day as a test cricketer, did you bowl today the way, did you bring what you hoped to bring to, to the test arena today? Yeah, look, in the interviews and, and stuff that I've kind of done leading up to this, I've wanted the approach that I've taken towards my Durham cricket. Um, and I see no change in the way that I'm looking to approach it. Um, maybe the outcome's slightly different, a little bit of a bigger scale, bigger stage, um, but I'm personally trying to bring the same kind of game plan to the forefront, um, and that's one of the assets that it's got me picked, um, and hopefully deliver it on that. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've kind of had a, an eventful day. Look, we, we come to entertain, that's our first and foremost thing, and it's been an entertaining day of cricket, and it's one that I've thoroughly enjoyed. Um, I know the team's enjoyed it. Um, and we're still in a contest to win a game of test cricket here. I mean, look, if you look at, at how it is, we've got three batsmen left, three wickets left in hand. We're going to attack the day um, tomorrow. And then when we get the opportunity with the ball, we're going to put it in the same areas that we've, we've bowled at today and we're going to pick them up and then hopefully try and win a game of test cricket, really. Look, I mean, you can have a game plan set in stone. <laughs> you know, game plans don't always go, go the way they should. Um, and we have to be able to adapt. Um, and that's kind of the thing that we're going to have to do. I mean... Yes, it was a roller coaster. Yes, I wanted to take the boots off and just put the feet up. But then again, I'm batting it. So I've always got the expectancy to try and score some runs and unfortunately didn't deliver today. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're still looking kind of battle plans always change and we're constantly changing on the move. And look, the way we, we want to play our cricket is entertaining. We want to be on the forefront of it. We want to play on the front foot. Um, and I think that's kind of the way we're going to go with it. I think we're going to throw punches. Personally, I think it's very, very entertaining. I think that's what we all want to see. We all want to exchange blows. Um, they throw us two, we'll throw them four. So we'll just see what happens. Yeah, well, I mean, look, Jimmy and Broy have been excellent for many, many years, um, and they still are absolutely brilliant as well. And it's great to be able to pick the brains of, of the likes of them and to, to have them around, especially when you're running at the ball, so they can bounce ideas about listening to the conversation around bowling. Look, it's very helpful, very beneficial, and just to have them kind of running and bowling as well um, is an excellent asset for England. Yeah, look, Leach is a tough character. Um, look, freak kind of thing that, that can happen in cricket. Um, he came off and I saw him, and he, he's fine in himself. He's, he's just got a little bit of concussion, but um, yeah, he's, uh, he's fine, he's in spirits. The first thing he said was, yeah, I'm fine. Saved four, though, didn't I? Um, which is testament to his character. I mean, he's a tough lad, and he gave, like we said, we're going to hunt the ball down in the field. We're really going to go after it um, and try and just have a good field and display. And we did have a good field and display as well. But yeah, on, on Jack, he's, uh, he's great. Chance to speak to Matt Parkinson, who started the day minding his own business in Manchester and ended it probably with his pads on, didn't he? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's had an interesting drive down. Um, yeah, receiving that call, I'd imagine he's probably had a wave of emotions. Um, but yeah, he can collect his thoughts tonight um, and approach tomorrow with a, with a clear head as opposed to having to come in very flustered, I would imagine, um, from a free kind of scenario. But yeah, I think he's looking forward to the opportunity as well. Yeah, I think it was a good fight back. Um, yeah, obviously it probably wasn't ideal how we, um, how we started the game, but I think, you know, I think everyone kind of saw how, um, how the day unfolded that, you know, I think both teams had the bet on it and there was a lot of wickets, you know, that fell, so... Um, yeah, look, we're back in the game and um, yeah, it's certainly nice to be sitting here rather than, um, I guess, what it looked like around lunchtime. Yeah, yeah look, it was nice to, uh, nice to find some rhythm and um, yeah, felt all right for that spell. So, yeah, look, it was just nice to kind of, um, you know, get back into the game and, um, you know, I guess start that for us. And, um, yeah, obviously, you know, when we sort of walked out there to go and bowl, it wasn't, wasn't ideal necessarily, but you know, like we knew we had um, had a little bit of time to try and um, to try and get ourselves back in the game, and you know, to sit here now, having done that is quite nice, and hopefully we can, uh, yeah, I guess, press forward tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I don't really think we saw it that way. Like we still felt like we were, you know, still very much in the game. We knew we had to bowl well, but um, as things tend to happen here, they you know it's, sort of tend to happen pretty quickly, and um, you know, we've seen that through the first through the first part of the day. So you know, if we put the ball in good areas, we you know we always thought we were a chance and. 
um, yeah, and lucky enough we're able to do that after tea and um, yeah, and get ourselves into a good, yeah, into a good position. Yeah, look, I was, yeah, I wasn't actually quite sure it was the 23rd over at that point, but um, yeah, look, it was it was cool to be out in the middle and be a part of that. Obviously, um, such a legend of the game, and um, yeah, just to I guess soak in that moment and um, you yeah, know be a part of that. Um, I guess appreciation of his life was yeah something that I'll remember for a while.